And look at that, brand new day. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark Freeman 408. We got Rob Gio from Georgiopolis. So last week has been a scorcher. I'm not complaining. I love the heat, but it is nice to have a day like this. Uh, I think it's only going, it's only 17 today. So it's that cross between like you could wear shorts, but you don't have to. No. So anyways, Laura and I jumped the Ford Escape the other day. She was a good jump. She wasn't perfect. But it's okay because I'm getting another Ford Escape from a buddy of mine, Mr. Sanford. So I wanted to obviously get this thing going again and maybe possibly do another jump, but everything snapped underneath. So it starts, but it does not move. So we're gonna push it just over there in the clearing. We're gonna blow the engine and then we're gonna fricking wrap a whole bunch of straps around it. Chris Johnson gave us some straps. So we're gonna wrap a whole bunch of straps around it three or four times and I'm gonna take off in the EcoBoost as fast as possible and see how many times we can roll it over. So we got a bunch of these old straps plus we got the Yankum rope. So at least try and get two roller overs in it. So it's a good little car. We did a few videos with it. I jumped it over that hill, sold some parts off it, got my money back and yeah. <laughs> nice. So we're free range free now. Special. Yeah, free balling. So let's go. All right, you want to get the Chevy? Here you go. Uh, yeah, we'll probably have to boost it. So we'll, we'll push her out in the open there, and then it's go time. Let's uh, drain the oil out and maybe fill it full of sand. I don't know. Dirt, sand, some water, some beer. Let's see what that. Put them at the top of the jump and pull, and pull them off, or just ground level? We'll see. Let's All just right. pull her flat right now. We'll blow it up first. Pop your head. We got the NOCO. This thing is a lifesaver for all of us. All right. That's not, how you, that's not how you start it. You know how to start, right? Wide open. Wide open. Wide open. Right to the floor. <laughs> She's a powerful one. Oh, 34 on your DFI. All right, let's take this off here. I'll grab the keys for the escape and uh, get you to give me a little push. I think I may groom the track today. Freaking walked the dog this morning, or biked with her, and forgot to put my work boots on. Oops. Hey, at least it's not muddy, it's just a little dusty down here. It's been raining all night, and it's already dry down here. I do not understand it. All right, let's see. Uh, got some donuts going in this thing. I cut the lawn too. I cut the lawn at the front, but I kind of ran out of time. I didn't get the, the back part. Told him, get some reverse donuts going. R and turn the wheel. <laughs> See how much of a struggle it is. Can't be afraid of these cars, he's gonna trash them. There you go. Yeah. Keep it going. <laughs> oh yeah, put the windows up. Cut the back one, she smashed. That's how we got into it originally. <laughs> Can't believe it rained all night and this is what it looks like already. Maybe it didn't rain out here, it just rained in London, I guess. Apparently it didn't rain out here. No, it still goes though. <laughs> yeah, she rips. I dropped my phone, I heard something. Just my phone. Yeah, maybe you don't need those. I was like, uh oh, it's falling off. They make new ones every day. All right, I'll grab the keys for the escape. We'll throw her neutral, push her out, and blow up the engine. All right. Let's do her. Oh, yeah. A little power steering. <laughs> She's got no power. Got 
Got my little Ford Escape. I got some nice curtains. She doesn't want to move. <laughs> Might have to push it with my truck. No traction, eh? No. Little front wheel drive. Oh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll just grab my truck and pull it then. No, no. You can just park that one where it was. Grab the key. <laughs> we all do. Your wheel straight there, bud? I don't know. Straight enough. All right, we got the Yankum rope. We got some fresh Yankums on the way. I've beat this one up quite a bit. But uh, best rope I've ever used. There's a link below. It just got close to all one. Let's uh, tow away here. See what the old Fajord will do. All right, we're in four by. Lock the diff. Crack the window. Crack a beer. Let's see what we got. All right, uh, she pulls no problem. There we go. That thing is beat. <laughs> I'm gonna park it sideways so we can lift it up and then we can uh, we can roll it over later. Yeah, right about there. Give or take. Perfect. Give her, bud. Oh, there goes a the tire. Huh, oh, that's how it's done. Oh. Did we blow the front tire? Yeah. Yeah, it sounded like it there. This is your best, uh, best, most dangerous way to do an oil change or work out, work underneath. Yeah. <laughs> you want to fix that tire? Yeah. So it looks like they put a custom exhaust on there. The old one must have fell off. But I see one cat. We're just gonna drain the oil out and uh, run her wide open till she pops. You ever season up yeah. an engine before? Nope. Well, today's your day. Maybe we'll fill it full of beer or something. I always learn something with you. You got it, right? Yeah. So you gotta get the most out of these vehicles. I know a lot of people want them, but here in Ontario, you have to, the laws are so strict, you have to safety them, and it costs thousands. You gotta replace everything. It's gotta be in prime condition. I know in a lot of other countries, even the states, you can drive them until the wheels fall off and whatnot. So, but here, yeah, it's no point in even safety. You know, it's cheaper just to buy a new vehicle. So, there's thousands and thousands of these at the scrapyard that just get crushed every day. So, I would love to go to the scrapyard, bring them out, you know, do a few videos with them, and then crush them. But at least I'm salvaging a few, getting a few jumps in, a few extra videos before they get crushed. So, all right, let's drain the oil. All right, so the bolt, the drain plug for the oil is in a worse spot. I thought my impact could get in there. It would not. No, so I was trying to use, I didn't even have a, I have sockets, but no freaking socket handle. So <laughs> what am I thinking? I need more tools. So I ended up using the Sawzall. The Sawzall worked well, and I just cut a little hole in my oil pan through the bin under there. So she's just draining it out right now into the bin. We're gonna fire it up and blow it up and then we're gonna try and roll it 20 times. So we might as well start throwing the straps around it now to get her rolling. Everyone. Yeah, I realize this thing does still have cats on, but the thing about the Ford Escapes is then they they are in the worst spots. So one's right out front here. This one's not too bad. You just cut the front off basically. But the second one is back here. And yeah, I have no great idea how to pull it out. So maybe flip it upside down, attach the Yagum to it and rip it off. But I might end up just breaking everything else. <laughs> uh, all right, let's, uh, let's blow this thing up. All right, you wanna see this thing blow up? Am I good to film from here? You're good to film anywhere. All right, <laughs> anywhere, okay, I'll remember that.
Oh. She's smoking. Is that it? She done? Need to have a little more left. Oh, she's smoking. As long as it's not on fire. In there. No. What's that smoking? Yeah, it looks like the oil bypass or something. As long as it's not on fire, that's what we don't want. We don't want we don't want fires. Fires are no fun. I mean, they're fun to watch, but we don't need the fire department out here. All right, let's uh, let's wrap these straps around it and see how many times we can roll it. We got 15 minutes. Okay, what do you think? How many times? I say three. Okay. Three. What? what uh, I, don't know, I was gonna say three too, so I'll say four. Okay. <laughs> I'll find the corner we can bet on. It. Yeah. <laughs> Probably one in the glove compartment. Yeah. All right. In the good old glove department. Yeah. <laughs> I'll need you to back up a bit. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're good. <laughs> okay. Get a run at her. I'm wondering if that door will stay shut. What do you think the best place to stand is? Back in the truck. You're gonna fall out. You're gonna floor it. <laughs> um, it's kind of on an angle that way, so I could go over here. Yeah, maybe just stand over there somewhere. I know. I need to duck behind something. If I'm, I'm worried that. That door is going to open, it's not going to flip as much. Oh, it's, it'll be fine. It'll okay. Be All right, you ready? I'm as ready as I'll ever get. Here he goes. It's haunted. There's, it, it was honking by itself. Oh yeah, it's just the alarm. All right, how epic was that? That was epic. You just destroyed that thing in like two seconds. Eco boost. <laughs> <laughs> Screw your Chevy. Oh. Look at that damage. Oh. All the windows are gone. Dude, I didn't even freaking feel it. <laughs> the thing just pulled, no problem. Oh man, that was wild. Nice windshield. Ford on Ford, eh? Yeah. How many? It happened so quick. I don't know how many times that was. I think it was at least two and a half. 
I gotta say two and a half. No, it kind of turned as you can see. Yeah. One. Oh, maybe it's just one and a half. I, it's hard to tell. But uh, I should have said one. Like price is price yeah. is right, you know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. That got pretty wild. <laughs> The EcoBoost does well. It was coming for me. Yeah, I was aiming for it. I know you were. So, uh, yeah, now we got some shrapnel to clean up, as you can see. A couple of owner's manuals. I don't know. I got to go, Mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a rake. Where's the rake? Uh, thank you guys again for watching. Have a fantastic day. Don't do anything we wouldn't do. Make sure you subscribe and leave a few comments. I'll do my best to respond. And uh, yeah, we'll see you later.